Hey everypony, Zori Lita back again, and I know it's been like forever since I've done art videos, but I apologize. I wanted to shoot a video of some of the ponies that I've gotten. Uh, as many of you know, My Little Pony originally came out in the 80s, and I have over 250 of the original ones. But lately, a company called Basic Fun through Hasbro has been reissuing the first uh, generation My Little Pony toys. And today I found a couple more, so I thought, hey, why not do a video about some of the ponies I have? See if you can see in the back behind me, uh, over there, there's the 20th anniversary uh, dolls, or 25th. Um, so, yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, this is Applejack, and the thing about the new dolls is their heads do turn. And they do have hair, but it does feel a little bit thinner than the 80s one, especially in the tail. But um, they're pretty good on the color. They're nice and vibrant and colorful. The heads twist, which I don't believe some of the original ones, I think that some of them were frozen in its place. And the plastic feels comparable to the original ones. I think they had to change like the type of plastic because I know that some of the old ones had started to deteriorate a little bit like some of my uh, Ninja Turtle dolls got kind of sticky like that and uh, anyway so each doll you got a doll a sticker and a brush to brush their mane so that was Applejack she was an earth pony then I have uh, confetti here she's one of the rainbow ponies and it was like a generation two or something like that or a, a wave of rainbow ponies and I don't think I ever had this one, so I tried to get the ones that I didn't have. So she's got a nice little sparkle pattern, as you can see. It's actually glittery, so it's not just color, it's glitter on her little cutie mark. So, and she's got a little blush on her cheek as well. A decent hair quality, uh, like the other pony. Then you have Flutter By, which is, I guess, like a precursor to Flutter Shy. And she's uh, got glitter on her cutie mark as well, if you can see that. It's kind of very bright colors on these rainbow ponies. Um, then you have Tickle, who's got like a cutie mark of um, feathers in gold glitter. And these ponies, for some reason, they have little bows on their tail, which is cute. I'm not sure if that was in the original or not, but um, very cute. The... Hair is styled in a curl, so it's pretty easy to maintain. Uh, let's see. I don't remember which one this one is, like Galaxy or something. Let's see. I don't know. Starflower. Yeah, that doesn't seem to make sense, but Starflower is this one. She's a unicorn, and this one had a little bit too much gel in her hair, so it's kind of been a little funky. I'll have to style it out a little bit. But, um, yeah, her, her cutie mark has uh, glitter on them as well. Uh, they all do come with stickers. I just cannot find them all. And, of course, I had to get Moon Dancer because OG Pony. So, um, yeah, I found this one at the farmer's market. There's a little toy store there. Um, that was pretty cool. So, the last time I went to Target, there was, like... A couple of ponies left, but none of them were the ones that I wanted. And then the lady comes out and says, oh, that they have this one. And this is uh, Gusty. And the funny story about Gusty is I used to have uh, an old dog. And she got into my room and decided to chew on my My Little Pony. And she'd chew off the horn and she chewed off the ears. And so the original Gusty did not survive so up until just recently I was never able to replace her so when the toy the lady at Target said that they had this one I'm like okay just give this one to me because I was actually looking for a surprise that was the one that I also wanted because my dog also <laughs> chewed that one up as well so that comes to surprise who I found today at the store now the surprise I had was flocked it had like the little fuzzy stuff on it and this one doesn't 
So I'm not sure exactly what line that was, but at least I was able to get Surprise and replace that pony. And I don't know for those of you that don't know, Surprise was the precursor to Pinkie Pie, so that's kind of cool. And then I also got Heartthrob. So she's got a little bit of greasy uh, gel in her hair, so you know, want to get that out with a little bit of baby powder, and that'll clean that right up. Hers are very subtle cutie marks, they're little hearts and wings on them, so it's pretty cool. And so for those looking for the boxes and say, I don't remember what they look like, the boxes look like this, and they, you know, have the old school logo, and they'll have the name, and then the info down below. This, the back will have, you know, talks about the pony toy, and then it'll have those ponies in that collection in the artwork form and then on the side they'll have photos of the dolls like I think I have like all of these already except Twilight I'm pretty sure I have Melody and um, I'm not sure I had Firefly Firefly is the one that later became Rainbow Dash I believe and you know there's the original Twilight with the weird colors and I do believe I got Glory I think Glory is somewhere because um, I think she's one of my original ponies but so yeah, the boxes come like this. Um, they're anywhere from like six to ten dollars. It just depends on whether they're on sale or not. So if you're jonesing to get the original My Little Pony, like all of us '80s kids grew up with, head to Target. There's some on Amazon, but they're a little bloated in price. Um, I think it's worth it. They join my collection up here with all my other dolls. So just thought I'd show you a little piece of what I've got today. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.